pushing it out to you. All in the same ear. Or is that where your mind's from? Okay, we're recording. I'm ready to go. No, you made me happy. <laughs> is that good, Teresa? That is much better. Thank you, Bonnie. <laughs> All right. Good morning, ladies. I still have a little bit of a voice, voice left, so we're going to get started. Uh, so we're doing the Vintage Ancestry uh, double layout today. Uh, so I asked you yesterday to put aside these papers. Uh, so I'll just point those out again. So we're using these two pieces. Uh, one is called Yesteryear and the other one is called Always and Forever. And then the two solids that we're going to be using is the paprika and the steel blue. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut off our half inch uh, strips off of these pages and we're going to ink these up. I ink these up in vintage photo. So we're going to start off with that. Ladies, we got the new Tim Holtz, um, what do they call these, the dome applicators, ink applicators, so they're, little, they're a little bit thicker. So I'm going to use that new one today. We're going to ink all our pages on the edges with the vintage photo. Could have got you ladies to do this yesterday, but you know what? We have time this morning, so I figured we could do this all together. You say you're okay that I'm inking your pages for you? Oh, yes, I am. All right. I'm happy whatever you do, to be honest with you, Bonnie. <laughs> okay. And these ones are for Teresa? Because I just can't keep up in this class. I know you can't. Everybody got their homework done last night. All right, so we got those two pages inked up. So now we're gonna take our solids and we're gonna start cutting our mats. So we're gonna start off with the uh, paprika one. We're gonna cut out that half inch strip first. All right, so our first cut is going to be five and a half. And then at seven and a half. So that is our first one of our layers of our first photo mat. So that measurement is five and a half by seven and a half. Now this remaining piece should be five and a half by four and a half. So that is your second piece. So that is the remaining piece that we just cut. And then we're going to take the second piece that we have left over and we're going to cut this piece at four and a half by six and a half. 
So now if you um, lay this piece out this way, you have your six and a half measurement already. So now we're just gonna cut it at four and a half. All right, so that was our first uh, three mats that we have. And now we're going to do the steel blue. And we're going to cut our first cut at five inches. And then at seven, so five by seven. And then we're gonna cut one at four by five. And one at four by six. We have the steel blue in five by seven, four by five, four by five, and four by six. So we're going to ink all of these pieces in the vintage photo. Yes, I did. This is my the new Tim Holtz um, ap ink applicators. They're great. They're a little bit fuller than the. Uh, they're a little bit fuller than the ones from the past. Yeah. Okay. Well, the other ones were thinner, right? Yes. These are more rounded. These are rounded. I actually like them. They're really nice. They work really nice. These foam foam applicators. What's that? Yes, they are all removable, just like the others. You got the Velcro. Uh, backing. Oh, look at that. The boss has got a package here. So they're called the mini domed ink uh, blending foams. They're great. She has them in the store and, and we do have them in Domini as well. Thank you, Teresa. Yes, or you can give give us a call to order them as well. The paprika ones are. Yes. Uh, someone was just asking about the paprika ones. The measurements are five and a half by seven and a half. That's your largest one. Uh, the next one is four and a half by five and a half. And the other one is four and a half by six and a half. These measurements are also in your instructions if you need to look back.
All right, ladies, so we've inked all our mats and then we are gonna start placing them um, on each other, I guess we should say, to layer them up. So we'll start with this first page. So we're gonna start with this one with the doily. So this is the largest mat that we're gonna put on here. And we're going to have this one layered on top. You're gonna have about a quarter of an inch border of the paprika showing all the way around. And now we will place it onto the uh, 12 by 12 piece of paper, our first layout. I'm using the uh, T-square. I love this little tool. It's great to make sure that your, your photo mats are even on your page. Place that down. So now we have the first uh, photo mat on our first page. We will go to our next page, which is the one with the flowers on, on the one side and the butterfly on the other. And we will place the other photo mounts on there. These tea rulers are available at the Dalmany location and in Moostra as well. All right, so we have the two photo mats on there. So hopefully everybody did their homework last night. So we're gonna start placing uh, our uh, embellishment pieces on here. So you're gonna be needing um, the 12 by 12 uh, st sticker sheet along with the pieces that you cut out last night. All right, so we will start with this page first. Um, I'm going to let you know about um, this little uh, a stamp that we have. Uh, we have this stamp set that um, we both carry in the stores. Nicole and our Teresa and I both have uh, a set in Moose Jaw, our sets in Moose Jaw and in Delmany. Uh, this set was actually created by my daughter. She designed this stamp set and uh, uh, we got photo play to 
uh, make them for us. Sorry about the glare, ladies. Uh, so for this weekend, we have it on special with, with a acrylic block on for $10. So you can phone in uh, your orders or you can uh, run by the store and, and pick yours up. So this is the stamps that I use in, in usually all of my layouts that I do or in my albums. Uh, I put in the place photo here or place memories here or the little camera with the place photo here inside the lens. So I, I really love this stamp set. Uh, we're hoping that Nicole can create another one for us at some point in time. Uh, so yeah, so these are both uh, in the stores. All right, ladies. Um, we're going to start embellishing our pages with all our little cutouts that we did. And what we're going to do is we're going to ink up these uh, pieces that we cut yesterday. All right, ladies, so we're going to start off with this first piece, which says family is everything. This is one of the pieces that you cut out yesterday. And we're going to place some plop dots on there. Okay, they missed the homework from last night. Is that what you gave for homework? Oh, yes. Okay, where are you cutting it from? Where are okay, you um, I'd have to look and I don't, okay. I'd, I'd have to go back. Okay. Um, and I don't even know, I don't think I have that paper in there. You're going to have to give us a couple of seconds. Okay, so for those ladies that didn't get the memo last night of the, the cutout parts that they had to do for homework, um, I'm going to go ahead. Uh, Teresa's going to look it up and then we'll go back, okay? For those that are uh, did, did do your homework. All right, so these this this piece that we're just putting on right now, we put added some pop dots to it and we're going to just place it I just did it at an angle and I covered the legacy of love here. And we're just going to stick it down right about there. And for those of you that know me, I love cutting out stuff and, and, and embellishing the pages with all these elements. So we're just going to start tucking in these flowers. So this red flower that we cut out yesterday, we're just gonna stick it in behind that envelope piece. Now we're gonna take this yellow flower that we just cut out yesterday as well. We're gonna put, add some pop dots to that. And we are just gonna Tuck that in behind that red flower or behind that envelope again, covering up partial, partially that red flower there, like so. Also, we cut out this uh, smaller blue flower, popped out as well. And we're just going to tuck it right in there. Then we also cut out the uh, smaller blue uh, butterfly yesterday out of the two by two elements. Okay. 
What I like to do when I do butterflies, ladies, I uh, I add the pop dots to the to the wings of the butterfly, and then I just take a small glue dot and I add it to the center of the body of the butterfly. And then we're going to just attach to the page right about there. All right, and then we have these two hearts. We're just going to give them a little bit of ink. All right, we're gonna add some pop dots to the red heart. And so this red heart actually gets kind of attached to this, this part of this envelope. So what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of uh, tape to the bumps of the heart there and we'll just stick it on like so. And then we'll take that yellow heart that we cut out And we'll just tuck it slightly under that red one, like so. If your measurements and your placement isn't in the exact spot as mine, it doesn't matter. All good. All right, ladies. And then we're going to take from our 12 by 12 uh, sheet of stickers, we are going to take this piece, which is the clock with the gears, going to give it some ink. And we're going to give it a pop, some pop dots. Sorry, I'm off the page again. All right. And then we're going to just tap this little clock just um, just a little bit behind that there envelope there that we placed on earlier. All right. Uh, then we have this piece that we cut out yesterday from the one of their element sheets. Uh, it says heritage, but actually we're going to cover that up. Uh, so we're going to pop dot that onto our page as well, but we're going to first give it a little bit of ink. Yes, green. Um, do you cut off the antennas of your butterflies? Yes, I do. Okay. I do, do not keep the antennas on my butterflies. Um, you know, the odd time I do, um, but they usually end up falling off because they're so delicate. And uh, so I usually do cut them off. All right, so this piece also gets popped out in. I bet you Gail kept her antennas on her butterflies. <laughs> No, she didn't. Oh, her head oh no. <laughs> Come on, Gail. Gail, what are you thinking? <laughs> All right, so we're going to place this one. Sorry, my page is moving on me. Just on the bottom here. All right. Then again, from your element uh, sticker sheet, we're going to take the together forever little piece. Oops. Get some ink. Dot that as well. Okay. 
So ladies, once we are done this layout, uh, for those of you, hopefully you stay on the uh, Zoom for a bit because I'm going to be giving you some more homework so that uh, we can be ready to go for the afternoon. Okay, so for those of you that were uh, kind of behind yesterday and didn't um, see what you needed to cut out, I'm gonna quickly go by, go through that. So for those of you that um, need to catch up on this one, you go for it and I will uh, quickly do a little bit of explaining for those that didn't see the stuff that we did yesterday. All right, so from for yesterday, for those that didn't uh, catch that we needed to cut some items out, uh, this piece right here gets cut out. I actually just cut into here like that. I'll just show you the actual one that I did, show you on the black. So I just made it look like it um, was meant like this. So just make sure you just cut it exactly like that. Uh, so that's the piece that we cut out for that. <clears throat> and now from the four by four element sheet, uh, this envelope piece we used on this layout and this piece as well, the heritage. So we cut this one out. And then from the two by twos elements, I cut out this yellow flower. I cut out this red flower, the blue one in the corner, the hearts, the two hearts here, and the blue butterfly. So that is for this page here that we just did. For those of you that didn't get the uh, memo yesterday. So those are the pieces that you're gonna have to cut out. Now, for those ladies that are they're gonna be run behind, um, just remember you have your instructions you can follow with and there's a photo on there that you can clearly see where those pieces go. Um, I'm not gonna add these uh, photo corners on this um, page because I think you're probably wanting to do that when um, you put your photos in. So those photo corners come from this 12 by 12 uh, sticker sheet uh, right up in here. So we're gonna start on our, our next page. So this is the one that we've uh, already put the photo mats on. All right, uh, so we have this yellow butterfly that we cut out yesterday. We're going to pop dot that on to the page. We're actually gonna pop dot it right over top of this one that's here. So you're actually gonna see the antennas um, underneath of the other butterfly. So we're gonna pop dot that. Like I say, this is my favorite simple stories line that they came out with. Love the colors. All right, so we got the, pot, the butterfly pop dotted up in there. Now we're going to take um, this piece here that we cut out of the four by six element sheet. I'm gonna give it a little bit of ink. We'll pop dot it, or well, we're just gonna pop dot, ladies, um, just this top portion, because this other portion is gonna get kind of tucked behind. And that's why I use the adhesive that kind of, I can pull apart, because it's gonna get stuck in a little bit behind. I hope you can all see that. So this camera part is actually gonna get tucked in. You're gonna just see part of the bird poking out here. So you can all see that. And then we'll just add some pop dots. All right.
right, ladies. So when I do my photo mats, I never really do a measurement. I just eye it. Okay, so like this side? whichever eye you got, if you got two, you use both of you, you only just use one, you can. So anyways, it's about this part, this measurement here is about a half an inch, maybe a slightly more. Uh, this part is about the same, a little bit less here. So like I say, I just eye it, you can do the same. All right, so we're gonna put that piece right there. And then we're gonna take, from our sticker sheet, just a second, I'm just gonna check. No, oh, I think it's from our chipboard pieces. So from our chipboard pieces, from the six by 12 uh, chipboard uh, pieces, sorry, I'm gonna quickly open this. Sorry about the noise, it's gonna be loud. I didn't get a chance to decorate Teresa's album yet, so I'm uh, hoping to do that this afternoon. So anyways, uh, this, little piece here that's called, it says, this is us, is the piece that we're gonna put right in over that piece that says photographs. You don't have to cover that if you don't want to. I just thought it was kind of cute. So we're gonna ink that chipboard piece, this is us. This is a sticker uh, chipboard. So there is a layer of uh, plastic that you remove. I don't quite trust the sticky on the, chipboard pieces. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of uh, score tape to that. All right, so we're gonna place, this is us right over that one that says photographs. It gives a little bit of dimension there with that. All right, now a couple more pieces. Sorry for reaching over. All right, so we took this uh, piece off the 12 by 12 element sheet. It says lifetime of love. We're gonna give it a little bit of, uh, ink you can just stick this one down just the way it is if you like but i like to add a little bit of uh, dimension so i'm actually going to add pop dots to it So ladies, once we're done these, this layout, we are going to go over what we're gonna be doing this afternoon. I'll give you some homework to do, so stay tuned. Um, don't run away, uh, just so that you know what you need to do for the next, next class. I usually load up these uh, sticker pieces with pop dots just because I don't want them to all of a sudden um, get the uh, sticky part of the sticker onto the paper. So I load it up with pop dots. See, I'm stuck to the pop dot already. All right, so this gets uh, placed 
towards the bottom of your page. <clears throat> I'm about three quarters of an inch away from that corner, ladies. We're just gonna place it right in there. Now, Lifetime of Love, it says on here, I actually covered it up with um, one of the 12, 12 by 12 uh, stickers here. I did the uh, Always and Forever. So we're going to ink that. And I popped out of that as well. All right, so we're going to place that on the lifetime of love. Try to make that straight. There we go. All right, and then from your 12 by 12 sticker uh, sheet, we're going to take the story of us piece. We're going to ink that up as well. Going to add some pop dots. Everyone keeping up? Got a, a quite a big, large mess over here in this corner. I'm trying to keep it off the screen so you ladies can't see how dirty I am. All right, story of us. It's going to cover this blue flower in the in the corner here, ladies. I'm going to stick it right in there. All right. I believe that is it for this page. Um, I added photo corners, but I think um, if you're placing photos in here, I think you should put your photos in here first. So again, uh, these photo corners come from that 12 by 12 element sheet. And you can add them when you add your photos to these pages. All right. I guess these are the two that we did. So these two pages are complete, ladies. So that is it for the vintage ancestry line that we did. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. We will um, show you what uh, is your, gonna be your homework for the, after you're done your layouts. And then we'll sh I'll sh also show you what we're gonna be doing uh, this afternoon. So clean up a little bit, get you guys caught up. No, you're good. I'm going to start right away here.
All right, ladies, for this afternoon, I believe it's one o'clock, Latrice Cree. Yeah. All right, one o'clock after lunch, we are going to start off with the um, Snap album. This is the uh, Simple Stories, um, Simple Vintage Cottage Fields line. Uh, so this is what we're going to be making this afternoon. So um, I'm going to show you um, pieces that you're going to be cutting for this, uh, this uh, album that we're going to do at one o'clock. So I'm just going to grab this first sheet. This is the three by four element sheet. And so what I did uh, with uh, four of these pieces is I made little uh, card inserts for one of the pockets. So you're going to cut Hopefully you can see this all, but you're going to cut these two all in one, and then you're going to score it in the center. My little sticky note off, and so and then you're going to round those corners. So that is going to go into one of the pockets. So you're going to cut those two together, and then these two on the bottom here, we're going to cut those together, score it in the center. And we're going to round those corners as well. And that's going to be a little insert as well. And then you can uh, add photos in these uh, little uh, cards for uh, in your album. So we're just going to have them tucked in this first pocket that we're going to do later on. So those two you can cut out together. The other three by four sleeves on this page are just going to be cut out as the three by fours because they're going to be stuck in the sleeves of the album, like, like so. So we're going to cut those out, get them all ready to go. And then for this page, so this is your four by four element sheet. Okay. And you ladies can write right on here if you want. This butterfly here gets cut out. So just write on here that you cut it out. This piece right on the bottom here with the three butterflies. This piece, I want you to cut all these butterflies out and put them aside because they were going to be uh, for a set of cards that we're going to do right at the end. So you can cut those three butterflies out. Now the rest of these uh, four by four elements, just cut them out as four by four. Those will be pockets inside the, inside the album that we're gonna make into pockets or just little inserts. So those four by fours just cut the way they are. So again, this butterfly you're gonna cut out and these three on the bottom from this page. Now this four by six um, page, we are gonna cut out all of these pieces just the way they are. We're not cutting any of the little elements out of these pages. So just cut those out and these will be used in, in this album as well. The only one that's not gonna be used in the album is this piece here, which is gonna be used in one of the cards. And now for the two by two elements, and you can write right on these little pieces as well. You're going to cut out the hearts. So there's three hearts on here. Um, you're going to cut out the butterflies. And I believe there's three on here, four on here. So the four butterflies that we use. Uh, we use um, this photo in the corner here. We use um, this one that says sweet. This one that says hello, happy, loved. Uh, we cut out this doily, which is, says good times. We cut out this nest. And like I say, ladies, just, just write right on here 
that you cut out. And this is your homework for our next class. This piece right here that says you are beautiful, you're gonna cut out just this little tag. That is for one of the cards that we're doing. This flower here gets cut out with the stem. Again, just right on here, cut out all the pieces that I'm telling you to cut out. The rest of them, ladies, uh, you can, can cut them out if you like. I did use even some from the back here. So I cut some of these pieces from the back that, are, that I didn't cut. So uh, they're gonna get put in the album and I'm just gonna show you quickly uh, where they're kind of going to get placed so that you know kind of what we're doing. So like in here, I added the little piece here on the three by four card. So it's just a little uh, butterfly with a flower. And you can, you guys can decide it yourself if, if uh, you, how many you actually want to put in there. You can put more on there if you like. Uh, so you can cut out as many as you like. So that is your homework uh, for after I'm done okay. here with the okay, so we just need to slow down a little bit, like okay. Um, we have a concern because we've got people that need um all the pages redone, like all the cutouts that you're doing reposted over again. Okay. Um, so can you just explain to them that yes, we have learned from this now. Um, we don't need anybody else texting in. I've had about 15 texts in regards to um sending us um that we should have given a cuddle sheet. We felt that giving yeah, them over here. And talk. Sorry. Are you yeah, no, tell, no, no, let her talk. And then, yeah, right. um, okay, okay, so uh, we're just running into a little problem, guys. Um, okay, we've gotten about 15 texts in regards to that we should have given you a cut out sheet or telling you exactly what needs to be cut out. We are learning as we go along here. Nobody else needs to text us and tell us that we need to do that if possible, please, because we're trying to keep up with all the texting coming in and everything. We know it's a lot. Um, that is why we did colored um, photocopy sheets for you. So we have learned that we should have given you a sheet saying this needs to be cut out, this needs to be cut out, this needs to be cut out. I will have Bonnie at the end of her, what she's going through, where she's been. We'll get her to go, we'll get her to do it one last time. We're going to cut the video off at the end. And then we'll have her do it just one last time of the cut of parts that you need. Take your pen and just make a little X on the little corners on those little two by two squares. And then that way you can kind of know. But remember, we have put a colored photocopy in your kits that you can go back onto that page and refer to. You've got a few hours to do that. That'll give you something to do for the next two hours or two and a half hours before we come back in and do our next project, okay? We're, we are trying the best we can right now, okay? Just hang in there with us, okay? Please and thank you. I'm gonna turn this back over to Bonnie. Okay. Sorry, Bonnie. Nope. Do you still have a little bit to go or should I do my thing and then you go back over top? Whatever you like, doesn't matter to me. I still have a little bit, but not, not a lot. Whatever you think. Okay, I'm gonna stop now and I'm going to say my bit and she still has a little, more, little bit more to go, but it's so that you're all here when I do this. Um, I have some thank yous that I have to say out loud and um, I'm sure I probably missed somebody who donated or, or such, but we have to thank Simple Stories, Photoplay, Bonnie Jansen, of course, Nicole Jansen, Sandy Silversides, we need to thank Scrap and McTee, um, Teresa and Adam Fellinger, Colin, my brother, computer guy, um, Val Wicks, Kelly Edwards, Joanne Uke, Miranda DeHaven, Claire Clark Redding, Scott and Catherine King, Saskatchewan Rough Riders, Brad Johnner, the Hunter Brothers, Justin Labrash, Sylvia Nelson, Shauna Easterby, Donna Kosh, uh, myself and my husband, Tracy Edwards, Beauty Barn, Holly Bell, Pastimes, Nick Sewell, of course, uh, Laura Hamilton, TNT Gunworks, um, Mario and Anne, and, and I, I mess up their name every time, the Shade, uh, Gail Aker, Diane Therian, Christine, and I'm sorry if I say your name wrong, Dutra, Carrie Wilcox, Marjorie and Terry Winter, the MS Society. Um, I'm sure I missed somebody, um, and I'm sorry, but uh, 
and everybody who donated, everybody who spent on 50-50 and raffle. Um, there was one more thing. We have another prize. Well, actually five prizes. So the first five people who text to 306-694-0700, seven facts about MS. I did send out a fact sheet a while back. Um, will uh, win a prize. So um, you can get on that after, or um, I hope you're still listening to Bonnie. <laughs> Sorry, Bonnie. <laughs> and uh, Bonnie's going to finish up here. Remember, the first five people to text that number, seven facts about MS, uh, will win a prize. I'm going to put it back over to Bonnie. Yeah. That's okay. You know what? It just gives them a little bit of a break. All right, ladies. And this is another project we're going to be doing is this double layout. Um, so these pieces are the um, simple pages pieces that they just came out with, simple stories came out with. These are already cut for you, so you don't have to cut these. And so these are the, the uh, simple stories, uh, beautiful memories pieces. Um, so in your packages, you also got the six by eight pad. So what I want you to do is take out this piece uh, from that six by eight package. And this is your homework as well. You're going to cut out these five butterflies on here. Because they are going to get pop dotted onto this page. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm just going to show you on the side. So these are going to get pop dotted onto this page. So these, these pieces, this piece here needs to be come out of your six by eight album or the paper pad and cut out. Okay, so that's your homework. So that's ready to go when we do this, these, this double layout. So from the Cottage Fields paper pack, I want you to take out uh, this sheet, which is called Dream More, and the sheet that is called Hello Happy, and the aqua colored uh, basics uh, cardstock. So these three pieces are going to be used in that double layout. So those three pieces I want you to put aside uh, for this layout that we're going to be doing after the, the album, the snap album. So this is going to get cut out. This is already done for you. So get that ready uh, for your homework, all right? Now, right at the end, uh, we're going to do these four uh, slimline cards. I know I told you to cut those butterflies out of those element sheets, and I'll go through that again. Uh, so for these cards, we have those layered butterflies on this card. And I, like I said, I'll go through those again as to what, cut out, what to cut out. These are made with just the leftover scraps. So your cards may not necessarily be exactly like these ones, and it, which it doesn't matter, but we will go through um, the cuttings of the papers when we do the album and um, the layouts that hopefully that we have these pieces left to do these cards. So uh, that is at the very end of uh, the afternoon for those. So again, uh, from the six by eight pad, this is another homework sheet, is um, you're gonna take this piece out of the six by eight and cut out these three butterflies. Um, I'm not sure if this is gonna make it easier, but I'm just gonna show you my pieces already cut out. And I'll kind of go, by what element sheet they come from. All right. So from this four by four or from the two by two element sheet, these are the pieces that you're gonna cut out of. You are beautiful, right here, cut that out. 
we cut out the hearts, the pink one, the blue one, and the light pink one. So those, those three right there. We're gonna cut out this photo that's in that corner there. Hello, happy. Flowers from something else, sorry. This yellow butterfly from right here. We're gonna cut that out. Sweet. Good times, the little doily. And this white butterfly right here. Oh, I forgot a butterfly. This one right in that corner. So those are the pieces we're going to cut out from the two by two element sheet. Also, I cut out a few of these flowers and some of the butterflies in the back, whatever you don't use when you've, once you've cut these out, ladies, okay? Cut those out first and then see what you have left over. This one, we're just gonna cut out the sleeves the way they are, this four by six. Cut them just the way they are. These four by fours. You're gonna cut out this butterfly right up here in the corner, just right in here that you're gonna cut it out. So that's your homework. And then these three butterflies right in here, are these ones. You're gonna cut those out. The rest you're gonna cut out as the four by four because they're gonna be used as pockets in the album. So you cut those all out just as, as they are. Then from the three by four sheet, you're gonna cut out this yellow butterfly in the corner here. And the rest, I believe, yes. The other ones, you're going to cut these ones out as two. We're going to fold, score it and fold it. And we're going to corner around the punches. And that's going to be a little card insert. And along with these two here as well. Cut them. Two together. Score it in half. And we're going to corner around those edges. So hopefully that helped. All right, again, six by eight piece that you're gonna cut out. Those are these three butterflies right here. All right, so this afternoon, one o'clock, we're gonna start on this album. So you ladies can, um, there's a little uh, closure thing in the back here, you can take, that apart, take this off, take all your sleeves out, and then we're ready to go this afternoon at one o'clock. All right, are we for time? Yeah, yeah? okay. Maybe do a question and answer if there is any questions. Okay, ladies, you have any questions? We'll answer your